एवरी वन वेलकम टू वाई शाइज यूट्यूब चैनल एंड वेलकम टू द न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ पॉलिटी एम सी क्यू सीरीज विच आर प्रेज स्पेसिफिक इट विल बी वेरी ग्रेटफुल टू से दैट दीज सीरीज विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर द रिविजन पर्पज ऑफ पॉलिटी सो वॉच ऑल ऑफ द वीडियोज विच आर डन बिफोर बाई गोइंग टू द प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ वाई शाई एस वॉच दैम एंड कम बैक टू दिस वीडियो सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू जॉइन द बैच टू ऑफ द टेस्ट सीरीज यू कैन Uh, like know about the details of joining through WhatsApp. That is seven two zero zero six eight one six seven five is the WhatsApp contact number. So you can contact through WhatsApp through this number and get uh, about the details of joining the test series and uh, be one of the thousand people who are getting benefit of this test series every year. Okay. Question number one with respect to the fundamental rights, consider the following statements: Right to property was deleted from the list of the fundamental rights by the Forty Fourth Amendment Act of nineteen seventy eight. Right to elementary education is available to the citizens of India only. Article nineteen protects the citizens' right to move in in and out of the country. So we have to uh, say which of the following statements is not correct. Okay, they are asking which of them are not correct. so coming to the option 2 right to elementary education is available to the citizens of india only is wrong because it is also available for the foreign students and coming to article 19 it protects it doesn't protect the citizen rights moving in and out of the country but it protects the citizen rights moving within the country so option 2 and 3 sorry statements 2 and 3 are wrong so two, they are asking about which are wrong so 2 and 3 should be the option so option b is correct so option b right to elementary education is available to both citizen as well as the foreigners article 19 protects the citizens right to move inside the country whereas article 21 protects the right to move out of the country and right to come back to the country so it is article which provides the right to move uh, outside the country and come back to the country okay which of the following statements is not correct about the directive principles of the state policy it prohibits the consumption of drugs or toxic drinks it promotes equal justice and free legal aid to the poor it directs the state to provide early childhood care and education to children until they complete the age of 5 years it directs the state to organize agriculture on uh, modern and scientific lines so they are asking which of them are not correct so option c is not correct because uh, the statement which is mentioned is correct partially because it is to, uh, it is till the age of 6 years not 5 years this is the only mistake that uh, is present in this statement so you have to be careful about uh, these kind of things okay these kind of minute things so option c is correct for question number 2 directs the state to provide early childhood care and education to children until they complete the age of 6 years not 5 years so that is the reason option c is correct for the question number 2 Question number three: Consider the following statements with respect to fundamental duties. All the eleven fundamental duties of the Constitution were added via the Forty Second Amendment Act of the Constitution. It abides the citizen to respect the ideals and institutions, the national flag and the national anthem. Which of the following statements is correct? Okay, uh, so. Eleven fundamental rights are not added to the Forty Second Constitutional Amendment Act, but it is according to the ninety. Uh, sorry, eighty sixth amendment act of two thousand two. So option one, the statement one is wrong. And coming to statement two, it is correct. Two only is the correct answer. So op question number three, two only. That is B is the correct answer. So fundamental duty to provide opportunities for education to children between the ages of six and fourteen years were later added to the constitution through the eighty sixth constitutional amendment act of two thousand two, but not the forty second constitutional amendment act. Question number four. Consider the following statements: the fundamental rights and DPSPs together have been described as the concerns of the Constitution by Granville Austin. DPSPs are in the nature of directives to all the governments of the country, state, central as well as local. Supreme Court has held that fundamental rights and DPSPs are distinct schemes, and DPSPs can override fundamental duties. Select the correct answer using the code given below: one and two only, one and three only, two and three only, one two and three. So statement number one is correct. It is. truly uh, told by the granville austin he told that uh, uh, frs and uh, dpsps uh, together can be called as the concerns of the constitutions and uh, dpsps are all uh, will act as a directives to all the uh, to all the governments of the country central state and local level also so b is also correct coming to the statement number 3 supreme court has held that fundamental rights and dpsps are distinct schemes and dpsps can override the fundamental duties so it is wrong 
so one and two only is the correct answer for the question number four because uh, law under article thirty one c would be protected only if it is made to implement directives in article thirty nine b and thirty nine c and not or any other dpsps okay the extension to all the dpsps was declared as unconstitutional and void by the supreme court in the minerva mills case of 1980 so option a that is 1 and 2 only is correct for the question number 4 Question number five: Fundamental duties have been added to the constitution in accordance with the recommendation of the option A, Sarkaria Commission; option B, Mandal Commission; option C, Swaran Singh Committee; option D, Kasturi Rangan Committee. So, option C is correct. That is, Swaran Singh Committee uh, have, uh, according to the recommendation of the Swaran Singh Committee only, we have added fundamental duties to the constitution. Okay, option C is correct. Question number six: Which of the following? a uh, fundamental right does not fall under the category of the right to freedom freedom of profession freedom to manage religious affairs protection of life and personal liberty freedom of expression so option b is wrong because freedom of uh, manage religious affairs doesn't fall under the right to freedom so option b is correct for question number 6 Question number seven: Which of the following statements regarding the fundamental duties contained in the Indian Constitution are correct? Fundamental duties can be enforced through writ jurisdiction. Fundamental duties became a part of the Constitution in accordance with the recommendations of the Swaran Singh Committee. Fundamental duties are applicable only to the citizens of India. Uh, select the correct answer using the codes B and below. Two only, one and two only, two and three only, one and three only. So we have just now read that. Uh, it is according to the swaran singh committee recommendation we have added fds uh, to the indian constitution and coming to third statement uh, fundamental duties are applicable only to the citizens of the india so option c that is 2 and 3 only is correct okay the constitution doesn't provide provisions of the direct enforcement of our fundamental duties by the courts however parliament is free to enforce them to suitable legislation so statement 1 can be eliminated so statement 2 and 3 that is c is the option for question number 7 question number 8 directive principles resemble the instrument of instructions enumerated in the government of india act of 1935 montagu chamsford act of 1919 objectives resolution 1946 nehru report of 1928 so option A is correct. That is through the Government of India Act of nineteen thirty five. Doctor B R Ambedkar has said that DPSPs are like the instruments of the instructions which are issued to the Government Journal and to the Governors of the Colonies of India by British Government under the G O A I uh, Act of nineteen thirty five. Question number nine: Which of the following countries have duties for the citizen as part of their constitution? The U K, Russia. Japan, USA. Select the correct answer from the following codes: one, two, and three only. Two only. Two, three, and four only. Two and three only. So option D is correct. That is two and three only. Russia and Japan have duties for citizen as part of their constitution. So option D is correct. Apart from India, Russia, Japan, China, Kuwait, Tunisia included fundamental duties as part of their constitution. Question number ten: Which of the following is the difference between the fundamental rights and rights secured by the other provisions of the Constitution? Fundamental rights are immune from constitutional amendments. If the rights follow from other provision of the Constitution, an aggrieved person may have his relief by ordinary suit only. Select the correct answer from the following codes: one only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. So one only is the correct answer. Fundamental rights are conferred special sanctity. as compared with other provisions of the constitution if the rights follow from other provisions of the constitution other aggrieved people may have his relief by ordinary suit and by application to the high courts but application under article 32 shall not lie unless the invasion of the non fundamental right involves the violation of the same fundamental right as well so option a that is one only is the correct answer for question number 10 so that is it for today's video Okay uh take care guys and keep smiling bye bye